you're a junior, you're probably starting to think about college. And if you're thinking about college, you've probably heard the acronym FAFSA, FAFSA, FAFSA. Oh, you might be wondering what FAFSA is. So how do you fill it out? What do you do with it? With these questions, where are all the answers? In this video, of course, in Matt's unsolicited opinion. Uh, FAFSA is the free federal application for student aid. So it's a, the general application that all colleges require for students to uh, apply for financial aid. So essentially, any student that has aspirations to go into college should complete a FAFSA. Well, the FAFSA um, gives you free money. That's pretty much it. I, that's probably the number one reason. Uh, the government uses the FAFSA to give money to kids who need it for college and pretty much if you don't fill it out you're missing out on an opportunity to get free money and I mean free money is awesome right? I feel like FAFSA is important to students because it's a way for us to feel like we are able to get financially like stable especially for those like me who aren't really able to pay for college full out especially if it's a college that is more in like the higher rate for tuition like thirty thousand dollars or over so I feel like that's really important for those who are not financially available but also for those that need that little extra boost in the money category. Everyone should fill out the FAFSA for student aid. So it's important to know what it is because essentially it is the sole determinant on accessing funds um, for students that are not only demonstrating financial need but also all colleges look at a, like a student's profile to identify how financial aid can be awarded. I would say the prospect of helping pay for college, I think it's kind of my main goal going into college to get out of it uh, with as little debt as possible and anything will help and I know the FAFSA is very generous at times so I'm hoping that FAFSA will help me out with this one. What encouraged me was that I know that the colleges that I apply to have a really high tuition and room and board rate for money-wise. So I figured doing the fast fund, also applying for scholarships might help me pay for all that. What encouraged me is getting that money. See, here's the thing. I really need to get through college. And my thing is, I'm not the smartest kid in the world. So I'm not going to be getting a lot of money from external sources. So I really need the FAFSA to help me out, get me through college. So I think the advice for juniors would be to understand what's required when completing the application, knowing the dead, deadlines to as to when to apply. For example, students that are juniors will be applying for financial aid in starting their senior year, October 1st. So it's important to kind of be ahead of those deadlines so that you can have an early submission of that application. Well, expect a lot of really, really detailed questions. They're going to ask you um, very specific details because they're trying to paint as detailed of a picture of you as they can to see how much you're eligible for. Really what they can expect is that there are a lot of people to help usually. The one that I went to was at the Sean's High School. So they, they had a lot of um, members from IRS there and people from FAFSA that worked there and they were really helpful and really informative. And yeah, they also help your parents as well if they need to do like the whole like tax forms and stuff. Okay, while filling out the uh, FAFSA, you have to expect a lot of things. One big thing is you need your parents there with you because there's a lot of information on taxes and stuff you need to fill out. Um, you there, you need your social security number, you need key components when it comes to your financial needs in the United States of America. Um, if you were a worker, you need your own tax information. Um, other than that, you just need general info about yourself, your tax information, parents' tax information, and then you're magical. My personal experience with it was there were some points where I'm like, okay, I have to fill this up again and again and again. And the other points are like, okay, this is pretty straightforward. I think I know how to do this without having the extra help from the FASPO members. Personally, um, it wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be more rigorous. I thought it was going to be longer, take more time. But actually, I found it to be a lot more simpler than I thought. Well, that's it for this edition of MUO. I'm sure the juniors will be grateful for this very informative video. Check back for upcoming editions of Matt's Unsolicited Opinion.